What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great holiday. We are coming close to the next roster update, and we're going to be going over some cards that's going to help you make a ton of stubs super, super easy. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Hit that red subscribe button. Make sure that you comment down below for the algorithm. Let's get into today's stub making method. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They are offering cheap, fast, and reliable MLB The Show 24 stubs. If you are interested, click the link in the description, check more services, and use my code for 5% off. Let's be great, baby. The first card we're going to go over is Garrett Crochet. 81 overall. He's priced kind of high, but for the month of May, since the last roster update, 0.93 ERA and a 4 and 1 record. I can see a plus 2, but he probably can get a plus 3 or plus 4, depending on how SDS wants to upgrade him. K's per 9, he's over 11.7 K per 9 in the month of May. And in the month of April, he had a 6.91 ERA, so that's a huge jump to a .93. Seth Logo. Seth Logo, month of May, 5-0. and oh. He should get a plus 3. 1.79 ERA, 9.67 Ks per 9. Make sure that you invest into these cards right now. Once they get that plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, that's where you're going to see your stub profit. Let's move to the hitters. So far has been a gold, probably a diamond hitter all year. Last month he was batting around a 328. This month of May he's batting like a 335. This guy has been lights out for the Padres and he's a switch hitter. So very valuable in the game. Profar has an OPS of 916 in the top 10. His betting average has been insane month after month after month. I can see him getting a plus 5. And then once he goes gold, he should be on the diamond radar if he stays healthy. Now, you also have the regular cards on the market, the 84s, that are almost guaranteed to get bumped up. The thing is, you can still flip them and make a stub profit. A lot of cards that's 2100, 2200 on the market, you can still have a stub gap. Chris Sale is too expensive, but Ranger Suarez, the 3000 quick sell of a diamond, he has a 90% chance of getting that plus one or plus two for 2200 stubs. You're going to be making about a 750 stub profit on each one of them. So if you buy 30 of them, you're going to be spending a lot of stubs, but it's a very, very high chance that he gets upgraded. The same thing with this shoulder guy. 2,300 stubs is going to be 700 stub profit every single time with the quick sell. So most of these might get a plus two, but being that they are less than 2,400 stubs mean that when they get an upgrade, you do have a chance to make a lot of profit off of these already expensive cards. So you want to look at it at the 85 quick sell value, which is 3,000 stubs. 2,200 stubs is expensive. If you got them way back when I told you guys before his last upgrade, you would have had them cheaper. But if you get them today, you still are going to make 700 plus stub profit. 30 to 40 of them is a lot of free stubs. The same with Garrett Crochet. I went out bought 30 of them because I'm expecting at least a plus 3. You got the same thing with a lot of the hitters like Ozuna. Depending on what SDS want to do, he has been hitting insane. If he gets upgrade, not sure about that. But them two pitchers, Shoda and Ranger Suarez are almost guaranteed locks to go up. And they have a good profit margin stay tuned for the streams on this channel drop a thumbs up on the video comment for the algorithm and let's get it 